Are you uh, afraid of death? I mean, it's easy for me to say no as I sit here, probably not about to die, but... Is this like the UFC question, can you defeat any opponent? Exactly. The, the, answer, answer, is yes. the answer is, of course, yes. And uh, I don't have... They're not around. They're not here, are they? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but... Uh, I mean, are you, uh, do you ponder your own mortality? Maybe another context to that is you mentioned two deaths for martial artists. I think that's actually why, honestly, even though at a, at a relatively young age, I think mortality is something that I'm aware of more, maybe more than the average person. I think probably most athletes can speak to this and anyone that's had, so I've managed to, to slide out of a couple near death experiences personally, you know, mostly river related, um, because I'm an idiot, but, um, I regret nothing, but, uh, yeah, and, yeah but, uh, thank God we're here. But, um, yeah, it, it is an interesting seeing, seeing the end and seeing going, well, what's going to happen? I, I guess, I think it comes back to kind of what we we're discussing about belief structure and belief system. I think a lot of times if I recognize that no matter what I do, it's all going to end one day. And then you go, well, why were we here? What would I do? Am, am I going to make it to 40? I have no idea. I'd like to hope so. I had no idea that I was going to make it to, to the age that I am now. Um, am I going to make it to 80? How much of that is in my control? much of it is not i mean we, we it's so funny it's an interesting like back to the belief structure again like locus of internal and external locus of control you know what's facilitative versus what's true and you know i think accepting personal responsibility for more than is on my control is is probably a positive but at the same time recognizing that much of much is not in my control i was fortunate enough to be born in the united states fortunate enough to you know to not to knock on wood have have a serious disease that i'm not aware of right now um i didn't do any of that i just showed up that was really fortunate and i i guess that doesn't diminish the fact that i try to make decent choices but it works in concert with it and i i guess um when i when you go is death what i want right now no no, I should think not. And again, it's easier for me to be relatively calm about it as I'm not staring it in the face. But what I would care a lot more about is is how you live. That's what's in my control. And I can't control if as I walk out of this building, a helicopter falls on me. Worrying about that, I can't control. Maybe I, maybe I have cancer now and I don't know it. And I really hope not. But um, there's something about meditating on the fact that it could end today. Outside right. of your control, they can uh, clarify your thinking about yeah the the fact that life is amazing like just kind of uh, yeah helping you enjoy this moment even if life was horrible let's say for instance it was it was you live at one of those times or places and those places still exist in this world today that life is brutal and metal and whatever all and short and painful would you still want it and again as i'm sitting here not not on fire physically it's easy to say yes but i would i'm confident i still i'll plant my feet and say yes any of li any life is amazing and beautiful and, and, a, and a gift, an unbelievable gift uh, with, that none of us have earned. <laughs> for the record, we're, I hate the word earned. A lot of times, earned, yeah, you earn, but it's like there's a lot of a lot of good fortune in earning, and that's back to do I want justice or do I want grace? And I guess we're all fortunate to be where we are, no matter where we are, and hopefully it should give us some sense of perspective, some sense of compassion for other people, but also, like like you said, a sense of peace. Where if it all ended right now, would I? be happy with what I, with life to this point. I'm like, of course, would you like to live a little longer? Yeah, I would try to do more and try to live rightly to the best that I know how, which over time will hopefully continue to evolve in a, in a positive direction. But if the answer to that is no, I, I guess, uh, that's, that's always, that's a sign that, that what I'm doing is not what I'm meant to be doing. And I mean, you're familiar with the Tecumseh before uh, so there's a, I've got one actually, if you could give me 10 seconds, I'll, I'll read this one out. This is a personal favorite, basically. And I, I think it sums up, I mean, again, I, it's one of those quotes on the internet, like when Abraham Lincoln said, don't believe everything you read online. Um, but uh, this is, you know, I, it's again, uh, attributed, but it's like, so live your life that the fear of death can never enter your heart. Trouble no one about their religion, respect others in their view and demand that they respect yours. Love your life, perfect your life, beautify all things in your life. Seek to make your life long and its purpose in the service of your people. Prepare a noble death song for the day when you go over the great divide. Always give a word or sign a salute when meeting or passing a friend, even a stranger when in, when in a lonely place. Show respect to all people and grovel to none. When you arise in the morning, give thanks for the food and for the joy of living. If you see no reason for giving thanks, the fault lies only in yourself. 
Abuse no one and no thing, for abuse turns the wise ones to fools and robs the spirit of its vision. When it comes your time to die, be not like those whose hearts are filled with the fear of death, so that when their time comes, they weep and pray for a little more time to live their lives over again in a different way. Sing your death song and die like a hero going home.